Hi everyone, I'm Vanita and if you're like me who loves to entertain and celebrate the holiday season, then you would definitely agree that one of the key ingredients to making sure your party goes off without a hitch is by ensuring people always have their glass full. You no doubt have already spent hours planning every little detail and then it hits you what to drink. Moreover, if you're having a Christmas party, there's bound to be wine which means you're bound to have questions. What wines to buy? Will red or white go with your food? And more. Fear not, I'm here. Let's tackle the big question. What wines to buy? Let's be honest. People are there to socialize, celebrate Christmas and have fun. Not to learn about a grape they've never heard of. Look for wines that will be widely popular, readily available and also budget friendly. Choosing the right bottle to pair with your Christmas meal is an important part of creating the perfect experience. So what wine varietals should you have at the party? If you're looking for something celebratory to start the night off with, you can almost never go wrong with a dry Prosecco. It is an Italian sparkling wine from Italy. This gorgeous bottle of Prosecco by Santa Margherita Waldo Biadene has an attractive fruity nose reminiscent of apples and peach blossom. It's well balanced on the palate with a vibrant freshness which along with the fine bubbles prolongs its fruity sensations. It's perfect to be served as an aperitif with appetizers or even throughout a meal of delicately flavoured dishes. If you prefer a champagne on a Prosecco budget, consider Cava, a Spanish sparkler made the same way as champagne but for a fraction of the price. Here is the Cordonneau Classico Brut Cava with a fresh, fruity and delicate aroma made from the traditional Spanish grape varietals. With a fine mousse and a balanced mouthfeel, this Cava would pair well with dried fruits and nuts, savoury pies and assorted canapé. But then just sparkling wines alone aren't enough. And the next thing that I'm often asked, can you offer both red and white wine regardless of the food? Of course, why not? Because you can't predict what people prefer. So choose wines that won't overwhelm the food. When we think of a white wine, I'm not sure if there's a quintessential Christmas white, but there are a couple of strong candidates. And one is Chardonnay, which will go very well with richly sauced dishes. So here is a lovely bottle of Chardonnay all the way from Chile by Monte Pacifico. An easy drinking Chardonnay that has aromatic notes of pineapple, peaches and pears with a smooth mineral touch. With a fresh palate, this medium bodied wine ends with fruity exotic finish. This wine isn't just a refreshing counterpoint to rich food, but even hot rooms. While white wines and sparkling wines are a safer bet at most parties, but you should also have at least one red wine for those guests who prefer a bolder wine. And bold wines will also have the most impact at a party. There is no name more closely associated with the greatness of the Rhone Valley in France than Chapoutier. Belarouche Red is an award-winning wine by Chapoutier from the Côte du Rhone made mainly with Grenache and Syrah grapes. This wine that greets you with intense red fruits in the glass with lovely raspberry flavours mingling with white pepper and lovely roasted notes. And lastly, I couldn't resist sharing with you about an amazing Italian wine that you might want to have on a special night, especially during the season. And what better way than to do that with something that smells like Christmas, looks like Christmas and tastes like Christmas. Here is the Valpolicella Ripasso by Zonato from Italy called as Ripasa. Elegant and delicious Ripasso is made from Valpolicella wine and the term Ripasso sounds like and in fact means repassed. The process of adding or repassing the lighter Valpolicella wine over the remainders of the bigger Amarone wine imparts additional colour, texture and flavour to the Valpolicella wine. Also, 
It induces a second fermentation of the wine that increases the alcoholic content. This Zenato Ripasso has elegant but persistent hints of black cherry and plum notes. It's a complex yet harmonious wine with a good structure and lingering finish that is mellow and warming. And lastly, for those who love big reds, then the Ripasso style wines are for you as it offers a convenient and affordable alternative to the big Amarone wines. That's all for now with my tips and recommendations of wines that are a pleasure to drink and none of these should overwhelm the food that you will be serving. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday season. Don't forget to share this video and spread the holiday cheer. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I will be thrilled to hear from you on what else you would like me to share about. Until next time, cheers.